a time for ripping in life. You will rip what you see. Tipsa, what's what? what, 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 what I can't believe you are back. You are back on that in the central lockers. I am sorry. I am very sorry if you are not about my action. But I have to attend to those clients. What do you mean by that? Well, like I said, guy, I'm very sorry. But I can't stand to lose those potential clients because of you. Sincerely, I don't never believe you trick me this way. Okay, guy, don't touch me. I am very, very sorry if you are all about my actions, okay? Oh, just chill. Let me attend to them. When I finish, I'll come back and then you can do your music. Dress up fast so I won't be late for your physiotherapy appointment. Allow me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go find it. Physiotherapy. My princess, the king will have me flog if you miss your physiotherapy appointment with your doctor. Please allow me to dress you up fast. Go away. Go. Lock the door. Okay. I will lock the door. But I won't leave you here alone. You can't stay as long as you're not talking about the ship. <sighs> okay, I won't talk anything about physiotherapy. If that will make you happy, my princess. <laughs> <laughs> my princess. NG, <Ng>, baby. <laughs> I'm happy you are happy. Here is Madam Esther's son. Hello, young man. Hello. My queen. Who are you? Um, my name is Godwin. Madam Esther's son. I've never seen you. Well, um, I'm not a, an important personality, so I, I just make up a, a whole lot. But you've been in this village? Uh, yes, yes, my queen. Oh, wow, interesting young man. Uh, you know what, uh, today is not Friday, but trust me, I'm going to pass it like today, it's Friday. You know I don't have any business with Fridays, all right? <laughs> Truly, I don't. I'm going to pass it till Mama calls. Like, no, seriously. Mama is not calling. We're here today, so she better not call, because I won't let you pick the call. Oh, you want to put me into trouble? You want to get me into trouble? See, Mama will be waiting for me, seriously. She let her wait. She'll wait forever, but for today, Oh, look at my baby. All spicy and hot. And you can see that again. Oh, come on, touch the laps again. Fuck it. <laughs> wow. So tell me. Have you ever done threesome before? Oh my god. <laughs> you know, that's what I wish for. You know, like a threesome, guys banging. Bah, bah, bah. They don't want to stop it from behind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> behaving like an adult that you are. Stop coming to disturb me at my workplace. You have to grow up. You're no longer a child. I'm sorry, Le. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's in the past now. What is most important now is the message from the Queen. And what message are you talking about? Please uh, stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about now. Eh? But, but while I was waiting for you at the palace, the Queen met me. And she, she inquired, she asked me what, what uh, I studied in school, my, uh, this thing. Who knows, maybe she wants to offer me a job. Offer you a job? 
just like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my I didn't set my eyes on the queen all through the day. The, uh, if you are taking your calls, I would have come into the palace uh, to wait for you till closing. Who knows, the queen might, well, might uh, see me again and that would have reminded her of her promise to me. Hmm. Sending a message to me to give to you doesn't sound like a promise. It is, oh. It mm. is. <laughs> Anyways, I will be coming there tomorrow. Maybe my luck will shine. Be working. Stop coming to disturb me at work, please. And you have to take this your job once and serious. You're a man now. You're you're grown up. Stop going to waste your days at that studio singing what I don't know about. I'll come tomorrow. My princess, I was told that you refused to go for your physiotherapy. Yes, mother. Why, my dear? I don't want to go to the therapist again. Did he say or do anything you didn't like? Mm, I, I forgot to say so. All right. You will go to the zoo, but you will still have to go and see the physiotherapist. Mm, no. Is there anything else you want? No. All right, tomorrow morning, Grace will take you to the physiotherapist. All right? Please, please, please. Grace will take you there tomorrow, all right? Okay. That's my princess. <laughs> That's my princess. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy you came to go for So funny that you don't see your fault in all this. Where is my fault in this? Where? Look, I'd rather not do this with you. But all you right? started it, you don't have to run away from it. You have failed in your duty as a mother. When you should be a shining example in motherhood as the queen of the land. Oh yeah? Yes. What makes you think you don't have a role to play in all this drama that you are orchestrating? Watch your tongue. I will not tolerate any insult from you. I don't care how you feel. You are as guilty as I am in this thing. Very guilty of it. You need to know that. How? First of all, you need to be a father. You are a father to them. So I need to remind you that you need to be a father to your children first, before you father the people that you're ruling. Do I need to remind you of that? I can see how sheepish you are. I call it anything you want. But trust me, I am saying the truth. Please, I need some peace. Oh, good. What the people want. Thank you. 
Good morning, my queen. You are Esther. Sit. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. I would like to discuss something important with you. Okay, my queen. Esther. Yes, my queen. I want your son to marry my daughter, the princess of this kingdom. Oh, why you have something if you can convince him to take my daughter as a wife? I know what you're thinking. How can your only son marry an imbecile? But think about the benefits being an in-law to the king and I. We change your life. Things will be better for you. You could have chosen one of the palace guys, but I chose your son instead. Um, my queen, I, I am quite honored by your offer. But I'm sorry to say this. My son will not get married to your imbecilic daughter. Never. Not even for the whole gold and silver. Stop it! I insult my daughter in front of me. I, I'm sorry, my queen. Sorry. I think you should leave now. Leave now! Esther is a very blunt woman. Not even my position as a queen will intimidate her. I would rather look for a way around this than have it discussed with her. Because if she turns it down, every other plan may be fail. Action. My queen, is everything alright? What's the problem? Everything is fine. Okay. I have a request. Okay. I'm listening. It's about your son. My son? Yes. What about him? Is there any problem? Mm, not really, but um, I'm looking for an extra driver for the palace. You know, I mean, a um, personal driver for my daughter, the princess. Ah, my queen. That would have been a great opportunity for my son. Considering the fact that he's not been able to get a job since after school. I mean, all his efforts have uh, I've been to no avail. I know he's looking for a job. That's why I want to give him this opportunity. Ah, that's so kind of you, my queen. But there is a problem. What's the problem? My son cannot drive. That's not a problem. I can send him to a driving school and have his particulars delivered to him. Really? Ah, thank you so much, my queen. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Pastor, all I need is a platform. And I'll organize everything. Brother Godwin, you're not a gospel singer. How do I let you organize a musical concert in the Church of God? Yeah, Pastor, I know I'm not a gospel singer, but my songs are not worldly either. Please help my career, please. Okay, let's do it like this. Why don't you do gospel? All you need to do is just put in that word Jesus there. I mean, a change in your lyrics will do. Pastor, you and I know that I'm not a gospel singer. Even God himself knows this. That I'm not, why, why, would, why, why, why would I deceive myself and my audience? Then, then I'm sorry, in that case, I can't help you. I can't help you, Brother God. Pastor, gospel singers, as we all know, are ministers of God. All I have is just the talent to entertain and educate my audience. Please, I beg you, help my career. I need um, just the youth and not the entire church. <laughs> Brother God, we still don't get it. Clearly. Light and darkness cannot mix together. How can we bring the word into the church of the Most High God? We can't do that. But Pastor, this youth we are talking about here do celebrate Valentine's Day. And on Valentine's Day, they will be found in places that the songs will be played. Oh yes. 
Brother Godwin, I know your intentions are very, very good. But we cannot allow it. This Valentine's Day you're talking about, is it even in the Bible? Celebrating it in the church is not godly. Pastor, it's Christmas in the, 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 the Bible. Be careful you, you don't blaspheme the name of God. God forbid that I blaspheme against my God. The church might have failed me, but my God will not fail me. Amen, Brother Godwin. Amen. The pastor let me portray some what we've been talking about ever since. Let me, let me make a, a valid point here. Whether the church celebrates Valentine's Day or not, it is being celebrated by your, by your prayer band leader. And the earlier you think of a way of keeping the youth in track, the better for the church. God bless you, Brother Godwin. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. So early. Yes. I am. Actually, the queen wants to see you. But I don't want to call you on phone because I need to discuss with you first. Ale, the queen wants to see me. That, 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 that means there's good news for me then. Well, if you will call it so. Uh, uh, nay, um, I, I hope it is not to come and be one of those body, bodyguards in the palace. On the contrary, the queen wants you to become the princess's. Personal driver. Ne. What was the other one now? Huh? Who wants to be a driver, Kwan? I know you don't drive, but she says that you'll be trained. And then they'll get you all, all the necessary driving papers. No, I'm not interested. Kwan, ah. you cannot reject the Queen's request. You cannot. Say so. Because it is our custom and our tradition. You cannot, you cannot refuse it. And listen to me. You have to start that work. You're, you're a man. You're not getting younger. And one biko. You know go. No, you know all that. But driving is not my calling. Uh, just start from there. You never can tell. You might, you might just meet somebody there in the palace that will get you a better job out there. I mean, all that young men will jump at this opportunity. What is wrong with you? Hey, go to anyone. There is nothing like a humble beginning. Start from this, start from, uh, from this first. Something better will definitely come up. Oh? Anyway, just, just think about it. Think about it. Your Majesty, I greet you. The great or no speak. Your Majesty, we the cabinet members of Kaneku Council of Elders are here to see you on a, a very serious matter that is affecting the progress of this land. All right. I am aware that uh, the request for this meeting is a very unusual one because I know our next council meeting is supposed to be in three weeks' time. So what is this serious matter about? Your Majesty, you are right. Um, we are sorry to bother you, actually. But um, it, it, it is about your son, the heir apparent to this show. My son? Yes, Your Majesty. What about him? Your Majesty, we demand that the prince be cautioned about the kind of life he's living. Yes, Your Majesty. 
Your son, the crown prince of this great kingdom, is misleading our youths. It has become a thing of concern, and uh, some of us are seriously affected. Uh, uh, my king, just last night, my son came back stupidly drunk. For an outing he went with his prince. Your majesty, the news in town is about how the prince declares free alcoholic drinking spree and a cigarette to young boys of this kingdom. Yeah. In every beer panel he goes to. Well, uh, maybe he was being generous to... to... Generous, you said. That is generosity, the wrong word. If the prince wants to be generous to the people of uh, our kingdom, he should open businesses for them, not to not the generosity of giving them drinks. Or you won't help them with a trade. Uh, huh? Look, look, let me tell you. If you want the king or the prince to do something for your children, eh? why don't you come out openly and say it? Than Rick Maroli. Oh, boy, if you hear it there. I think you're just young. Oh, boy, if you're young, you're not young. Who? Who are you talking to? Oh, boy, if you're young. Eh? Do you know who you're talking to? Why should you talk to us like that? Oh, boy, if you're young. Let me see you. 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 Let you are telling me to shut up. No, I can't shut up. Uh, my king, this is not a meeting at all. It is not. This is just like them summoning you, the king, to answer their query. For the kind gesture of your son. That is what it means. <laughs> kind gesture. Huh? Misleading the use of this lad. That is exactly what you call, you, you call kind gesture. Mm -hmm. Is this how you are fathering your children? <laughs> yes. Also, also Ibo, fathering your children. What do you understand by fathering children? What do you understand by that? Eh? Yes, I know how to father my children. To teach them when to start and when to stop. But look at you, you. You don't know how to teach your children moral ethics. You have to follow your sons, but don't miss them. Don't let them. Oh, boy, it's just sure, no. You are leading them to God. I said, shut up. Give me a, no. a rejection. Give me a rejection. I will not. Enough, I will not enough, shut enough, up. enough, enough. Sorry, my king. My king, I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Um, is this why this meeting was called? Yes, yes, yes my dear highness. All right, I want to apologize on behalf of my son, all right? I will speak to him and caution him. My king, let them also caution their children. Let them caution their children. Because I know that the prince did not force the drink down their throat. Yes, or did they? Did he, I'm asking you, no. Did the prince force the drink into the throat of your son? Eh? You clearly have that's, no use for that's this. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I will speak to my son. All right? You Yes, my king. You will leave vlog, my king. <laughs> Please sit down. Thank you, my king. Uh, hey. You're welcome. Thank you, my king. You can leave. Hmm. Yeah. My king. Yes. Um. When I left the palace yesterday, something struck my mind. 
and I decided to come here today and discuss it with you. All right. What is it that struck your mind? I think I know a better way to cope Prince Chidi's lascivious uh, lifestyle. All right. I'm all ears. <laughs> what he needs now is a woman in his life. Oh boy, Fee. <laughs> Prince Chidi has not had just a woman, but he has had several women. And if that was capable of changing him, he would have... He would have settled down to one woman by now. Um, I am not talking about a girlfriend or this pick and drop. Or these drunks and prostitutes that follow him about. No. I am talking about a real woman. A well-cultured girl that will help him cope his uh, 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 bad behavior. That is what I'm talking about. Obuefi, it is difficult to find such well-cultured girls these days. And even the so-called good ones are all hypocrites. <sighs> there are still good ones, so Yes, and I know about one. And who is this unique girl? Where is she from? <laughs> it's Ezinda, my first daughter. You know her too well. Ezinda. Yes, my king. The one that used to help your late wife in our cricket business? You know her very well. You see, Ezinda has become a full grown woman, well cultured, very industrious. In fact, Ezinda will make a great queen in Kaneku Kingdom. <laughs> I remember you once mentioned to me that she carried on her late mother's Okrika business. Yes, yes. She carried it on and she has been doing it very well for herself. Ah, as in, it's, it's an asset. All right. <laughs> I, I hope this works. Ah, it will work. It will work, my king. As in, has never disappointed me. It will work. All right. I will discuss this with my wife, the Queen, and um, we will probably invite her over to dinner. Okay. Okay. Thank you, my King. I will be very, very grateful to you. I mean, if this works, because, I mean, you don't know the calamity you'll be saving me from if it works out. Like I said, it will work out. As in, it has always made me proud. All right. It will. Chief Gar, I'll be looking for you. Any problem? Yes, there's a problem. I don't like it to sound like I'm complaining. I don't like complaining. But I'm not a man who stays in, a, in one place at a time. So what do you want? See, I want to go to the studio. Yes, give me some, I need some, I, I, my studio time is, is almost around the corner. Let me go to the studio and before evening, I am back. Young man. I will advise you don't step out because the king will discipline you if he finds out you are not in the palace. Chief Gada was employed here to be the princess's driver. But she doesn't go anywhere. She doesn't seem to. What type of what kind of job is this now? The princess only goes out on her appointment today with her physiotherapist. Does she have, does she have an appointment today? No, I wouldn't know. Grace is the only one that can tell me. Because she's a personal maid. Where can I find Grace? She, she should be the one I, I... In fact, I should be talking to Grace now, not you. Grace does not live with this person to the Because she's a personal maid. I don't like this kind of job. Bro. I don't like this kind of... Bro. This, this is not what I plan for. But what, what is this? Why are you even grumbling? You are still going to be paid. So why disturb yourself? And so? Paid? Well, well, which stupid payment? How much is even the money? I will help you. During lunch, the king and the queen will be downstairs. I will come and take you to Princess Indite Castle. Ha! Listen to me. You have to be very careful, very, very careful. 
Because if you are caught, I will deny you completely. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I will, yeah. I will be caught. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Just be complaining. You did work. Now you're employed. You will start your place. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Here. Oh, that's your license and your permits. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Congratulations, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So, how far? My brother, nothing much. It's just that I... All I do here is sit, sleep, eat, and shit. Well, look at you. No wonder you're you know, growing those big. See your cheeks now. I want to see your skin. Come on, please. This is not what I planned out for myself. I sincerely don't know what I'm doing here. <sighs> don't tell me you're whining me like a woman. Or are you avoiding to be envied? Envied of what? Envied of cruising around town with a princess. Well, my brother, you wouldn't believe that ever since I started working here, I am yet to set my eyes on the princess. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, yes. 100% serious. I mean, um, to find time to come for studio recording. I mean, studio sessions. Wait, oh, it's been one month, oh. and you've not seen the princess. At all. You see, the chief guard promised to take me to, you know, promised to take me to our room, but on the said day, he said he was busy. And you won't believe that the princess has refused to go see her therapist ever since I started working here. Which is why I wonder what I am doing here. My oh, brother, they need to let me go. Uh, well, um, you see, Godwin, that's not an issue. Since you will be paid at the end of the month, I mean, whether you walk home or not, I suggest you fix your studio hours at night. Well, if you will do that for me, why not? <laughs> so, my man, <laughs> anything for you now, yeah, provided bro. you help me get the princess. Why not? Oh, that's not much of a problem. <laughs> I believe we can work something out. Sure. Yeah. And you see him, whenever you're driving with the princess, as soon as you get close, just give me a call. <laughs> it's all good, my brother. Uh, give me a call. You know, I'll show with the speed of light. I sure will. <laughs> all okay. right, now. Yeah, you take care, man. Okay, now. I'll, I'll, once you walk your guy. <laughs> uh, walk your guy now. <laughs> I'm looking for the queen. Godwin. Me. This is a palace. You don't come in here without an invitation. Me, calm down. Bring, 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 calm down. Let's stop shouting. Do you know the gravity of the offense that you have committed? Do you know? Eh? Yes? Coming here is an offense. But I walk here now. People don't walk around here anyhow. That is why you never see the girls standing around endlessly. Please start going before anyone sees you, please. I came to give the, the queen my particulars now. Hey, you'd have told the guards, or better still, the queen's maids, so that they would take the message to the queen. You don't need to come in here. So bad, there are no problems in there. I, I, I... Please, please go. I'll go. Go and make sure nobody sees you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. bye, -bye.
Promise. Your Highness. I have a plan I want to execute. I've been stuck in between for a very long time. I want him to open that you be the one to execute it for me. But your service, Your Highness. So that point, buddy, what do you know about him? I don't really know much about him, my queen. But if I will be given time, I can get all the necessary information you need. There's no time. Just a little time you spend to in this palace, won't you? What can you speak about him? Well, my queen, he's calm-headed, a perfect gentleman with a lot of aspiration. Good. I want him to marry my daughter, the princess. What do you think about that? That would be nice, my queen. If he will accept that, because that young man doesn't look like he will accept such. He seems to want much more out of life, my queen. What gave you that impression? Just this afternoon, he complained of being idle. That's interesting. He said he's not happy with the fact that he's here without any evidence to work. Even when I showed him of his salary, my queen, he was still complaining that he needs a more physical work. Wow. But my queen, why him? Great question. Why him? For starters, his bloodline is clean. He came from this noble family in as much as they're not of uh, middle class. You're right, my queen. I need him to get closer to the princess. I need both of them to be seen each other more. All right, Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Your back, Daddy. Yes. <laughs> what is the excitement all about? Um, Daddy, I brought back some clothes from the shop so that I can wear to the palace for a dinner with the royal household. Um, Daddy, which one of this should I wear? Daddy, sh should I try it so that you can uh, no, see no, how they fit no, on no, me? No, 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 this one is perfectly okay. Uh, this yes. one. This one. Mm. 
Do you know I actually put this one first? Okay, let me hurry go in, wash it and iron it before evening. Um, I hope you prepared. Uh, yes, I did. I made the love rice. Okay, daddy. Okay, let me get you your food. <sighs> Thank you, my king. Thank you so much. Thank you. May the cults keep you. Thank my you. King, please calm down. Let us hear from him. It may be a mere accusation. What was he doing there? Does that place look like his mother's kitchen? Your, Your Majesty, actually, he deserves to be beheaded, but they can stand by justice with mercy. If only for this poor widow. Uh, my king, I don't think it would be fair to deny him a fair hearing. Yes, I agree with what Chief Mazin said. Let's hear from him. All right. Speak. May you live long, my king. My elders, I greet you. It is true that the chief guard caught me in a compromising position with the princess. But I am innocent of the accusation to have defiled her. Are you sure you are innocent? Because the princess will be examined and will be dealt with if the examination proves to be positive. My elder, I am speaking nothing but the truth. The princess can testify to this. The testimony of the princess cannot be trusted. What? Because of her condition, she might give a random uh, uh, testimony. Two, she was said to be unconscious when the offense was committed. Yes. I have already invited the doctor to come and confirm this. In the meanwhile, taken back to the guard room, I'll make my decision known in the morning. You will be ready. Please help me beg the king. I don't want anything bad to happen to my son. I won't survive it. I'll just die. Please. Esther. Yes, my queen. I told you that the king mentioned it. And he said he would let your son go. Okay, just because of you. Nothing bad will happen to him, so you need to go home. My queen, how can I go home? My fate will not carry me home, knowing that my son, my only son, is in trouble with the whole kingdom. Please. Please, I beg of like you. Like I said, he said he would let him go. It's best you go home and come back tomorrow morning. I will speak to him this night. Okay. Okay, my queen. Please do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my queen.
held us in council. This is my judgment. For the offense of defiling the princess. Godwin will marry her. Godwin will marry the princess for defiling her. This is based on the report of the doctor in respect of the events that happened last night. I have taken this decision in consideration of the fact that he is a son of the soil. Otherwise, the consequences might have been more grievous. That is my judgment. It's okay. It's not as if it's a life sentence. At least it's still better than handing you over to the police or sending you off to an exile. Eh? No. Sincerely, I would prefer to be in a police net than to marry an imbecile. Oh, yes. Godwin, do you want to kill me? Godwin, do you, do you, want, do you want to dig my grave before my time? Eh? Why don't you just get married to the princess and let sanity and peace reign? Please, do you want to go to jail? No, tell me, do you want to go to jail? Lechelo, I'm beginning to look at you somehow. Are you for me or against me? And I'm your only son for crying out loud. No. The way you paid? How dare you talk down on me? Are you, are, are, in Apple, are you mad? Eh? I warned you when you were sneaking around the palace. I warned you of his consequences. Not knowing that, that you went into the princess's room. Now look at what you brought upon yourself. You're so stubborn. Just like your father. This was the same act of stubbornness that led to your father's early death. Yes! I thought you said my father was killed by assassins. Your father never listened to me. He refused to listen to the voice of reasoning when I warned him not to go to that meeting that he got him killed. Now you are exactly like your father, very stubborn. Why can't you listen to your mother, my son? Why can't you? Why can't you? Do you want to, to fight King Okago? You cannot win the fight. You cannot. They're just like my father, a lion cannot be get a goat. Yes, my father was a lion and I'm a lion. Yes, and I stand where I am still standing. Nay, I would prefer to go to jail than to marry any person. And I am telling you to get married to the princess and save yourself. Save yourself from further consequences. You have to listen to me, I'm your mother. I cannot mislead you. I don't talk about this again. The world is enough for the wise. I do want to find him or his mother. No, we have not seen Godwin. We heard that he left with the mother for, for the princess marriage. Okay. He now lives in the palace, right? No, we heard that the king gave him one of his mansions. Are you serious? Godwin is a bastard. 
No, guys, no problem. No, no. No, <laughs> no problem. Don't worry. I'll, I'll try to reach you. Okay, sir. All right. All right. Thank you very much. So when the man came back to the house, he found out that the children have eaten all the food. <laughs> so the man was like, oh, who will I eat? Who will I eat? Oh, I pity for the man. <laughs> good morning, my prince. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, my prince. And how is oh how's my beautiful sister doing? Mm. What is it? Go away. Uh, it's okay. You don't want to talk to me. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. Right? No. Please, I have see. Okay, the truth is that there, yeah? I have been very, very busy. Mm. No. Gee, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll make it up to you. <laughs> my prince, is the marriage still holding this evening? Oh yes. Uh, has the queen not come to tell her? No, my prince. Oh, is getting married. Yes, Angie is getting married. Mm -hmm. So, um, Angie, uh, when he came yesterday, uh, what happened? Nothing. Nothing? Angie, he did not touch you. Mm, no. Are you sure he did not touch you? I, I touched him. I touched him. I told him to sit down. And then I held him so that he would not run away like he to do. is <laughs> Getting married, that Queen told me. <laughs> the Queen told you. The yeah. Queen told me. Damn. The Queen told you since. My princess, look at this. Look at this picture. Do you see this one? Yes. Do you like him? Yes. His name is Godwin. Okay. I want him to be your husband. Do you know what husband is? Husband and wife. Yes. In one room yes. together forever. Yes. <laughs> My princess. <laughs> okay. So, you guys are going to be married forever. Mother. Godwin. Yes, you marry Godwin. Mm -hmm. And you guys will live forever. <laughs> Mother, don't deceive me. You deceive me. I will cry. My princess, I can never deceive you. No mommy loves you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Don't worry. <laughs> Inji, it's okay. I have to leave now. Hmm? I'll be back. No, I promise you. Inji, my beautiful sister. I promise I'll come and see you, okay? The effort some people put into planning and plotting of this evil is so appalling. All for selfish needs, powered by greed. Oh. In the process, the innocent suffers. These people they don't really care as long as they get 
what they are after. This is sad. Oh, this is so bad. Sometimes things are not always as they seem. Why are you sulking? Isn't this what you wanted? Okay, so how did you plan it? Why are you even asking like you care? Look, that boy is very daring. He will flee at the slightest opportunity he gets and make a mockery of my judgment. Okay, I understand. But we can just keep him here to your own watch, but why slowly planning the wedding of my daughter? So she can have a befitting wedding. The wedding of my like, stock of the town, the wedding of the proud of like the mother. Oh, I see. That's your problem. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, dear wife. I will not give that boy a chance to ridicule me all in the name of planning a talk of the town marriage. I won't. Mm -hmm. How about the elders? The elders need plans, are you going to leave them out with? I have already sent notice to them. Anyone who wants to come will come, regardless of the short notice. So you're just going to marry my daughter? Your daughter, the only daughter we have. Like that, like, come on. Come on. Come on. Enough, enough. I'm already doing your bidding. Unless you want me to cancel everything. I just, just want to feel good. My friends and my wishes. For them to know that my daughter, my daughter is getting married. And, you know, for me to feel good. That's what I'm asking for. My only daughter will just one. <laughs> How could you, Godwin? I didn't know you were this wicked. The heart of man that says truly wicked. What is wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you? <sighs> Got it. So, I told you how I wanted the princess. And then you went behind me, you fast forwarded your footstep just to snatch her away from me, right? I told you I didn't do it. Why can't you believe me? Why are you finding it so hard, so difficult, so, so hard to believe me? Why? Why would I believe you, Godwin? No, tell me, why would I believe you? So even if you want me to believe you, will it help me? Now listen, Godwin. If truly you are innocent, why didn't you call me when you were with the, the princess? So at least I can hear her sweet voice. There was no time for that. There was no time. You didn't have time for that. You didn't have time. How would you have time when you had your own plans? Yes. I told you I want the princess. When I was even talking, you were looking at me like a fool. You're a fool. God, me a fool? A big fool. No, sincerely, you actually think I will abandon all my dreams to be with an incapacitated princess? You really? <laughs> Godwin, you're calling me a fool, Abby. Godinson, listen. If not because we're in the palace, eh, I would have beaten you blue black. Trust me. Dim, don't let this your muscles deceive you, okay? Don't let them deceive you. I go humble you. Sincerely. You go humble me. Oh yeah, now come now. Let's go and do training. Come! Come, why you go, go. come now if you're not afraid. No, do training in front of the, the, the house, Abby. Where are you going to? Let's go and do one. Let's go to the backyard. Don't you know where they fight? Go digger. Come on. You are walking out of me, Godwin. You are walking out of me. No, Allah, now. We'll do training. Check out in this village together now. I'll track you. Nonsense. Mom. 
my son is the first to marry against his will. I don't know how this happened. But if at the end of the day, my son gets married as the king has declared it, then I know that your hand is in it. Because you will not allow any temptation that is beyond us to come to us. That is why you are the God. That is why you are the king of kings. Lord, you have the final say. Let your will be done. My princess, <laughs> isn't she beautiful? It's my wife. <laughs> I'll take very good care of her. Trust me. Thank you so much. You're doing a good job already. And she'll give us a beautiful baby. <laughs> Judging mm -hmm. <laughs> your attitude towards getting married to my sister, the king wanted you to remain in the palace so he could monitor how you take care of my sister. But I suggested to him to get you a house so you could start up your own family and then. Uh, build your own family and i also suggested to him that he should get you a car you know the one parked outside so you could um, move around town so <clears throat> go and tell me was there a woman in your life before my sister I had more important things to do with my life and my time than to get myself involved with some relationships with women. That's good. And I don't want to hear someday that um, you know, something happened to my sister while in bed. Or uh, maybe you're saying it's an accident or something. I wouldn't want to hear anything like that. If there's anyone I would love to kill, that will be that idiot's promise. Mm -hmm. And whoever that paid him to do this to me. No, you won't say that. Every evidence, everything proved that you very clean, you know. But that, would, that, that is that. Uh, that has passed. Uh, what has happened has happened. So you just have to move on with your life. Okay? Just, just move on and forget about that. It's, um, I mean, no disrespect. But I'll have to be left alone. Like princess. You look so beautiful. Mm. It's okay. I'll let you be. But I want you to hear this. If anything, even an aunt, but my sister, you got me. You. I would burn you alive while screaming. And your mother, I will make her a slave in the royal house until her death. <laughs> mm. 
Here. I asked the question. What is she doing here? Sir, it is your first night as couple. So I, I thought I should bring her to your room so that you guys can spend the night together. Now you take her back to her room. There's no such thing as couple night here. Sir? Are you there for something? I'm sorry. So take her back to her room. Yeah. You told me you wanted to show me something at the palace. And this is my room. And uh, it is in the palace. So definitely if I want to show you something, it has to be in my room. <laughs> You're so cool. Thank you. Yeah, you sound sensitive too. Yeah. No, it's not yet time for that. Huh? I mean, why are you behaving like a child? But we're still going to get married. And definitely we'll be doing this. And so, what's the big deal? Of course, we're going to get married. But that's why we have to wait. I mean, we, we have forever together. So why the rush? You start irritating me when you start what is your lousy summons. Um, please, my friends, I'm not that kind of a girl. That is why I want you. Huh? That is why I fell for you. So, so, so don't start um, behaving this, this, this irritating kind of behavior from a local village, primitive. I'm going to take it easy, right? Cool. Oh, Mali Chan. Stop crying, oh? You know, go. Your husband will send for you when he's ready for you. And you will be in your husband's room. After all, you're his wife. Fatima, why did Mr. Godwin send the princess out of his room? Um, that one is by the way. It's not fair. He will send for her when he wants her. He's her husband. A princess. Hmm? I'm a chicken now. It's not fair at all. Just give him a little more time. He'll be ready for you. Oh? My son's wife, <laughs> Amali Chan. We are God win. <laughs> Don't worry. Your husband will surely send for you. Oh, you go and meet him in his room. Oh. Uh, come, let, let me take you to your room. Hmm? And let's, let's take her to your room.
You know why I told you you're different from every other girl. I was looking forward to have something, you know, some special moment, something very spectacular with you. I'm not knowing you as deep as a little girl, I have had something to do with you. I'm sorry, my prince, if you feel disappointed in me. So this is what I would have found out on the night of our wedding, that you're in broken plot. <sighs> but my prince, you never asked. Because I was told that you were deeper. And when I saw you, I thought so too. And I was thinking that place would have been the same too. Thank you. She will with those words. You did not only hurt me, you broke me into pieces. And let me announce this to you. That this whole thing, this whole thing is over. I am sorry, my friends. I am truly sorry. Get dressed and leave my room. I don't want to ever see you here again. Never. Please, my friends, so do this to me. Please, what would I tell my father? Go home and tell your father how deep you are down there. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. How was the night? The night was good, I guess. I slept fine. Why, is it, why are you in the kitchen? Oh, I'm trying to tidy up the kitchen then. I need breakfast. And where is the princess? Where is who? The princess, for crying out loud, Mom. You know, if I don't do it, if I don't do it, nobody will do it. Of course someone will do it. There is a wife in this house. As the man on this house, I will not tolerate it. Tolerate what? Grace, where is the princess? Still in bed, sir. Still in what? By this time of the day? I'm sorry, sir. She usually wakes up by 10 a.m. In her father's house. She wakes up. 10 a.m. in her father's house, not in my house. So she thinks she's in the father's house where everything is being done for her. Like I came in, coming to America. Now you get up there and wake her ass up. Well, sir, what do you want her to do for you? I can do it. I mean, that is why I'm here. You must be very stupid. You, you must be very stupid, idiot. My friend, will you? Come on, will you get up? Get up! Where do you think this place is? Your father's house? Where everything is being done for you? Don't you give me that room? Uh, what do you mean by room? Uh, huh? You're my, 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 my wife, right? Good. Now you get your ass up from this bed and go into the kitchen to make breakfast for your husband. Good. I give you two seconds. Okay. 
What's up, son? I just want to make a small trip. Where are you headed? Out to the States, just for some, some, some fresh air. To the States? Just like that? <laughs> he didn't even tell us, or does your mother know about this? Dad, I am an adult now. <laughs> All right. Does this have anything to do with the princess being married to that boy? No, no. It doesn't. Uh, this is strictly personal. And what about your fiance? Does she know about this? Or is she traveling with you? She's not traveling with me, but she's aware of it. Okay. I'll see you out of there tomorrow. All right, take care of yourself. Have a safe trip. Chako, what's going on? Yeah, why are you not in the studio? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I remember. No, I've not really had time to listen to it. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> Madu. I, I like the chorus. Kojo, Kojo, Kojo. Kojo, Kojo, Kojo. Angele, Angele, Angele. Madu. Kojo, Kojo, Kojo. Angele, 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 Angele. Kojo. Le, please. Le, please, stay away from my marital issues. Okay, for. Godwin, I know that you're not happy with the whole situation. But if the king gets to know about this, he will not spare you. And you know it. You have to take things easy. But the king will not cough. Oh, yes, he will not cough. Didn't he know that his daughter is disabled? before he forcefully married her out. My son, I know you are not happy with this whole situation, but you know how it is. You know how it came about all this. You have to take things easy. Don't make the princess suffer for all this because she's innocent. No, she's not innocent or anything. Yes, she's not innocent at all. In fact, they, see, we have gone past that stage. Yes, we are married now. So let her marry the marry. The princess has never, ever done anything by herself since she was born. Mm -hmm. So if you want her to start doing things around the house, she has to learn. We will have to teach her. Be patient with her, Mwami. Nugo, be patient. Mm -hmm. Your blood is too hot. Mm -hmm. People who jump into the ocean without proper swimming abilities must learn how to swim in the middle of the ocean or get drowned. Or better still, they'll be thrown out by the waves. And what kind of stupid parable is that? Le, even the king knows that any woman, in fact, every woman who wants to settle down, who wants to get married, must learn, they must be equipped on how to take care of her home. Since the king forcefully married out her, his, his daughter, she has to learn it here. But one thing I will not take in there is have my mother serve my wife. Oh, my man. But I am not complaining, I am, am I? I am complaining. Eh? Let's keep managing her. Mama, 
le 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 le. Stop this now. What kind of an evil act is that? Let that be it. Stop it. Now. Okay now. Tell her to keep her hands steady. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Let her be it. Take her to the farmer so that they'll give her proper treatment. There's nothing to first aid here. This is a domestic accident. Oh, the blood will stop. Stop it. Don't you believe in me? I've not slept with any other man but you. When you have not shown anything to prove that you are still a virgin. <laughs> I don't know why. But that's the truth. A big liar. And it's even more irritating when you try to cook stories. You never loved me. I thought we were going to be different. That's why I gave you my body. But no. You wanted to mess me up. It's not your fault. Take the blame. Take the blame for being so cheap. I know you're tired. You can go ahead and victimize yourself for all I care. I mean, I could get sex if I needed sex, I could have gotten it anyway. And even more better than you gave me. Lies. Sex is all you wanted from me. And you're happy I made your list. I hope you are very happy right now. I'm a prince. I cannot stoop so low. All because of sex, no, I can't do that. And you, you were supposed to be special, right? Huh? You were a wicked man. Uh, you're the 50th person saying it this week. Is in there? You're here. Good morning. Morning. How was your night? Fine, and yours. Oh, my night was splendid. <laughs> Very splendid. In fact, I had the best night ever in my life. Oh, really? You have to tell me about it. Okay. Let me get this. I will. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, I said me. I had the best night ever in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in my dream last night, mm -hmm. and I saw myself in your wedding, dancing and dancing and dancing. Different types of lyrics, eh? Different musicians playing and. Different dance steps I, I was able to put up. <laughs> and people were spraying money on me <laughs> in my dream. <laughs> and then a wedding with who? Uh, who else? Who else if not the prince? Huh? No, Daddy. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that I'm no longer interested in marrying the prince. Is that the kind of joke? No, Daddy, I'm very serious. I find out some things about the prince that I don't like. Hey, no, 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 no. It, it, it is always like that. See, in a relationship, you will find some things that you will not like about your, your, your man. And he will also find out some things he will not like about you. But that is the essence of courtship. You now come together fine tune those things and now become one indivisible family. Just like a broom that nobody can break. And so, when you come together, nobody can push you aside, nobody can break you. That is how it is. You, you cannot, because of that, say you, you cut off the, the marriage. No, it is not like that. Huh? Daddy, I'm sorry, I, I can't continue with the marriage with the prince. I can't. <sighs> Can't continue the marriage. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What really happened? What really happened? Oh, <clears throat> you know the king and his cabinet will crucify us if they find out. Um, and what transpired between the better for us. So I just came here to tell you that we should keep it within ourselves. Um, who goes about spreading news of bad eggs? Oh, I love that. So you know you're a bad egg. Well, <clears throat> I'll be leaving for the States very soon. And I've done everything. I've tried to tell them everything. Um, told them all the stories that I could tell them, but they still will not believe me. I want you, you know, to act as if the idea is all yours, that you don't want us to get married. Simple. And what would I say if they ask me a reason? Something. Just tell them you 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 you, you badged into me and I was taking hard drugs, so you tried to, you know, stop me. Uh, I, I held you and I tried to strangle you to death. You know, that would scare actually scare your your family. And everyone would just believe the story. Yeah. Everyone will believe me. Do you know that I can actually claim that you raped me and she'll be forced to get married to me, just like Godwin and the princess? Will you just stop mocking me? I couldn't have been able to cope with you as a wife, you know? Yeah, because you're not as sweet as I thought um, when I saw you. I thought you were going to be sweet. And you, a royalty, little of royalty, um, touches your life. The real you will show. You know? 
that that stubborn local primitive girl who will just puff sure now I am a prince I need a submissive woman for a wife not a local like you Something. Just tell them you 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 you, you barged into me and I was taking hat jobs. So you tried to, you know, stop me. Uh, I I held you and I tried to strangle you to death. You know that would scare actually scare your your family, and everyone would just believe the story. Yeah. Everyone will believe me. God. Do you know that I can actually claim that you raped me and she'll be forced to get married to me just like God Queen and the Princess? Will you just stop mocking me? <clears throat> I couldn't have been able to cope with you as a wife, you know? Yeah, because you're not as sweet as I thought um, when I saw you. I thought you were going to be sweet. And you, a royalty, little of royalty, um, touches your life. The real you will show, you know? That, that stubborn, local, primitive girl who will just puff. Sure, now I am a prince. I need a submissive woman for a wife. Not a local like you. Those were his words to me. I'm, I'm sorry I failed you. You mean he really said those words to you? Yes, Daddy. We got into an argument and he became irritated and angry that I, I was talking back at him and I too was angry. And he was talking down on me. So I, I angrily told him that it's over because he was talking down on me because I was not royalty. Hi! Is in there? Is in there? Don't you know you are not supposed to, to argue with a man? Eh? Moreover, a man that is planning to keep you under his roof. Jay, what kind of thing is this? My enemies are at work again. Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I failed you again. I'm sorry. Are you off to? But it's tough, of course. It was a stressful day yesterday, my whole body hurts. There's a spa, of course. Blah, 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 blah. Can you know that? I think something is wrong with you. The sooner you tame that spirit that keeps distracting you from your responsibilities in this palace, the better for all of us. You should stop talking to me like that. Before you made me queen, before you made me your queen, I was already a princess. Not a commoner that you met on the streets. You can't talk to me anyhow. I am royalty for crying out loud. 
Royalty, royalty, royalty. That's all I hear in this house. Royalty. It has blinded you to reality. What reality are you talking about? What reality? Look, how about meeting the expectations of your people? How about leaving the responsibilities of this same royalty you're talking about? It's time for you to start impacting lives. Impacting lives? Yes. I don't like this. When I came up with my NGO, I tried to have the less privileges. They do charity, but you kept talking down on me until it was shut down. Now you're talking about impacting lives. What lives are you talking about? Look, your so-called NGO, your so-called charity was nothing but a show-off. Yes. You were in competition with other elites who are making the same mistakes you're making. Oh, tell me more. My cake. Look, if you want to do a charity, if you really want that your NGO to make it meaning, change the lives of these people. What am I supposed to do? Don't just give them food and drinks and beverages that will finish the next day and they will find this, the, the, themselves in the same situation they were before. What in the world am I supposed to do for them? Die for them like some kind of savior? Is that what you want? Give them a life. Teach them how to fish. Create job opportunities for them. That's what will change their lives. Not giving them food and drinks and beverages that they will eat and still be in the same situation you found them in. Anyway, I really have to go. Go ahead. Go to your spa. Yes, Grace, what is the meaning of this? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. She said she wants to come and join me to watch the TV. With who? With you, sir. Are you, are you, are you out of here? With, with who? Which TV? Huh? My friend, will you take back, take, take, take this, this thing out of my sight? Is this how she, you, you, you watch TV in your father's palace? You are very, very mean. Is your father, your father, the king, sitting on that throne that is mean? Or who will kill you? I bet. I bet. How will you even watch the TV? How will your head still watch the TV? Oh, what are you doing? Let me. Don't enjoy yourself, oh. Watch the TV, let me go upstairs. Oh, I how will you watch the TV with your head like a gamma lizard? What kind of a man is this? Oh, thanks, my teacher. Can you just sit? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. just woke up this morning and went on an emergency journey without any motive. Eh? Oh. Eh? My king, are you trying to tell me that the prince is not in town? No. He said he was going on a short trip to the States. Hey! Che! I noticed something strange about his mood this morning when he was leaving. But I didn't know it was connected to his in any way. 
And by the way, he told me she was aware of the trip. Eh? He said she was aware of his trip. Isn't me he's aware of the trip? Isn't me? And she didn't tell me. I would have forced down immediately. And maybe we would have stopped him from traveling. It's all right. It's all right. Hey. Um, hey. It's all right. We'll work it out. Since they are in love with each other, it will be easy to mediate. Hey. All right? Uh, okay, my king. Uh, you see, I have scolded my daughter very well. And I promise you, I will make her to apologize to the prince once it, he is back. Obwefi, it's all right. Hmm? It's all right. These things happen. <sighs> Did you see how great they looked together? <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, looking at them reminded me of my youthful days with my late wife. <laughs> In fact, I was looking forward for that great day to come by. Don't worry about it. Everything will be worked out. I think he took this trip to clear his head, and by the time he returns, he'll be over it, and he'll even be in a better frame of mind to talk to. <laughs> Thank you, my king. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, lest I forget, have you heard from uh, our newly married princess? How are they? I haven't heard from them, but I, I, I wanted to leave them alone so that they can bond before seeing them again, you know? Okay. Yes. They need that space. Yeah, because checking on them regularly will make them to be dependent. That's it. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. I've given them everything they need. <laughs> mm. I know you. I know my king. I know what you can do. Yes. <laughs> Are you not Okago eh? or Bamba the sixth of uh, Kanebu? <laughs> we chose you. We know you before we chose you. We know what you can do. <laughs> we know you, my thank king. You, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. We know you. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, how did you request that I meet you here? I'm just coming from the king's uh, palace. In fact, uh, you, should, you should have come straight to my house instead of uh, calling me out here as if uh, I am your secret lover. Oh, no. Oh no, stop whining like a woman. We have a serious matter to discuss here. What happened? Ayelele, ayelele. Mama le, mama le, 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 le. Azimne's marriage plan with Prince Chidi is about hitting the rocks. It's about hitting the rocks. That is why I called you so that we can discuss and have a plan B. I, I, I thought everything was moving on smoothly. Um, I don't want to discuss what the problem is. Ezine is just the problem. Yes, Ezine is the, at fault. What happened? <laughs> In fact, they got to a heated argument. And uh, Ezine displayed some kind of stubbornness. So the prince felt that instead of Ezine being stubborn, that she should be submissive. Mm. Yes. And uh, because of that, the argument continued and continued. And then Ezine got annoyed and called off the, the engagement. Hi. Hi. Guess what nowadays? She should have been more patient and tolerant. You see why I told you you should let her know about our plans? Because if she had known the reason behind mm. Uh, our request to, for her to marry the prince. Huh? She should have been more tolerant than um, corporate. It wouldn't have worked out. My daughter is too uh, uh, moral for that kind of secret. Do you know that? What of them very well? Yes, you know? we all know that. Uh -huh. So what do you think would have happened when they are engrossed in love? Don't you think my daughter would have let out the cat and the bag? Then your case should have been as good as mine. So what do we do now? Yes, I am, my queen. Uh, that's just a side hustle. Yeah, this is my main profession. I'm a sound engineer. 
Wow. So Godwin is your friend? Yes, he's my very good friend. It's just that I was not in town to attend this marriage ceremony. You do know about his musical career, right? Yeah, sure. Um, this is Dean Sound Studio. So this is where we record all Godwin's music. Um, let me quickly play one of the lyrics for you. I'm sure you'll like it. Yeah. Sorry, can you put that speaker? Oh, okay. That's Godwin? Yeah, Godwin. <laughs> I'm glad I'm in the right place. <laughs> yeah, uh, at your service, my queen. I would like you to give me an estimate of what it's going to cost to produce a song. Um, okay, uh, we actually stopped recording for some time because of money. No, money shouldn't be the problem. Like I said, I'll take care of all the financial problems. Oh, thank you so much, my queen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, just follow me to the car, right? I'll give you a check. Wow. Okay, my queen. Thank you so much. Thank you. My princess, it's okay. Stop crying, please. Oh, it does not love G. He likes NG. Just that he wants you to do things by yourself. That is all. Teach me. I will learn. Okay, I will teach you, my princess. I will, but it's a gradual process. I'm going to learn everything. I will teach you. I promise. I will teach you. But you can't learn everything in one day. It's a gradual process, okay? Please, stop crying. Okay. How splendid. Your son left this palace. I mean, this country since three days ago, and you're just, you're just noticing his absence. What a shining example of a mother! Don't keep doing these things in your I'm not doing anything to you. You're doing it to yourself. Oh. What happened? Did he say anything? Did you see him before he left? What actually happened? Why would he leave without telling me? I don't know. I just, uh, I just saw him that morning when I was having a walk around the palace premises. Did he say anything to you? Anything happened? I can't tell, but I was later to find out that he had a misunderstanding with his inne, and she broke up with him. So maybe the shame of it and how to face me made him run away. Please, my son is not a coward. He can't just leave the country just because of his inne. Because of that, no. The young man was heartbroken. I could see it in his eyes. I know what I'm talking about. Maybe I should just give him a call. His number has been unreachable since he traveled. And no one has heard from him. Abba. this, this, this. Is this serious? Travel three days.
Please sit down. Thank you, Amen. Your Majesty, um, I've come to let you know that your son, the prince, cannot put my daughter in the family way and abandon her just like that. It's indeed a very shameful thing that shouldn't be let out in public. I decided to let him be because I really don't have any need for him to be around. But this is a serious matter. It's an emergency. So I will send for him and he will be back as soon as possible. Your Highness, uh, that, that, that is okay. That is okay. Let's leave it like that. No problem. <sighs> is it me? Yes, Your Majesty. You are sure the prince is responsible for the pregnancy? Yes, Your Majesty. I've never lived with any man before. All right. And who else knows about this? No one else, Your Majesty. All right, let's keep it that way. We will do our best to bring both of you back together. And if for no other reason, at least for the child you're carrying in your womb. All right? Okay, thank you, Your Majesty. And both of you will get married. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Mama le, mama le 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 le. Greetings, my princess. Uh, my princess, I want to teach you something. Okay. Good. My princess, henceforth, I want you to be meeting your husband alone. My princess, you have to listen to me. I want to teach you something. No, husband will take the baby away. No, look. I want you to be meeting your husband alone, okay? Anytime, any day you want to meet him, just go and meet him. Especially at night. No. My princess, you have to listen to me. You have to meet him, okay? Okay. Are you sure? Okay. That's my princess, Angie Baby. <laughs> I'm happy now. <laughs> Cause she was depressed, now you're abusing me That's why I need to care about the two of me Nobody gave me no attitude I know, my job, 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 Did you speak to the prince today? Let's get off the phone with him a minute ago. Okay. When did he say he'll be returning home? He did say. 
I'll call him tomorrow. He has to come home. You missing him that much? <laughs> I need him to come and do something for me. Wow. Nice to see you're trying to um, give him some responsibilities. Nice of you. What about the princess? Have you visited them yet? I really can't have momentum to call her. Each time I pick up the phone, I just... Yeah, I don't have the courage. Anyway, don't let it take too long. I'll be seeing Godwin tomorrow. So that will be a great opportunity for you to go and see Jadeka when he's not at home. Okay, I'll do that. Allow me to call mother and inform her how badly your husband is maltreating you. Please. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. But my princess, he needs to be cautioned. Please. Mm -hmm. Mother will want to take me back home. My princess, you mean you don't want to go back to the palace? I like God woman. I want to stay here. Okay. If you like him and you want to stay here, fine. But please, allow me to call mother. Mother needs to know that he does not like you. Okay? Allow me to call her to tell him to like you. Please. No. You call mother. You will live here and I will stay alone. My princess, trust me, okay? I will tell her in a way she will not cause trouble. No. If you tell her, I will make you go. I will stay here alone. Where are you going to? Mm. Eh? I'm looking for my husband. Your husband? Your husband went out. Eh, but he'll soon come back. Oh? Eh, come, let's go inside and wait for you. Mm, no! Nah. I said your husband went out. He'll soon be back. Come, let's enter the nah, nah, nah. oh, nah. Princess, stop the. Eh, where are your, your slippers? Put your leg. Put your leg. Put. Put your leg now. Yeah. Put your leg. Hold your hand. Let's go. Mama My son's wife. Godwin's wife. Yeah, come, let's. Is he coming back? Yes, he's coming back. He has got to bring something for you. Come, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Come, let's go now. <laughs> my fine wife. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go. Hey, what do you want? Raise your leg, raise your leg. Raise your leg now, raise your leg. Godwin's wife. Come, come. Come, come now. Hello. Let's go. Do you know that Mr. Godwin have refused to subscribe because of Princess? Why? He, because he does not want the princess to come down to the living room and watch the television. Is that was the fake? Yes. Welcome, my queen. Ma, 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 what can we offer you? Oh, don't bother yourself. You're doing great already. <laughs> no. We are not to have to talk. We, we have one. Time, one, two. Esther. Give mother. One. I don't really want to drink, but because my princess said so, I will. Go and get some wine for the queen. Okay. And princess, you don't have to be calling me whether you want to me. That's wrong. Okay. That means my Those who sold their slaves in the marketplace do not go back to court so I know you're very angry. But you don't have to spit at anybody from the royal family. What is wrong with you? I know you think we're not into marrying the princess, but you should take it easy. Did you say Lord? I was forced. I never raped the princess and your daughters. Let's stay out of this. God, I am not your enemy. It is your pride and ego that you are at war with. But you need to sell it, kill it. As a matter of fact, you should see yourself, count yourself lucky for being able to marry the princess. If the royal household wanted to honor me by asking me to marry the princess, why didn't they just ask nicely? Why hang out my neck like some plague? Did you say you honored me by forcing me to marry the princess? I asked, to what level was I honored actually? Could we? Have you walked out on me? Does the prince know that you're pregnant? No, your majesty. Why would you be pregnant for a man for months and not let him know? Your Majesty, I the day I tried telling him, he was with Ezine and he refused giving me listening ears. You should have still found a way to tell him. 
he started avoiding me and he never wanted to have anything to do with me. Emily. Your Majesty. Do you know you could have died trying to abort this pregnancy? It would have been successful, Your Majesty. The drugs my father found was supposed to be the last dose. He wanted to do away with this pregnancy and you had to wait for months and months. Why? There was no money. That is why. Oh no. My king. From now on she will live in the palace with us. So that she and the baby will be taken good care of. No, she's my command. She will be taken to the family hospital so that the doctor can run some tests of she and the baby to ensure that no damage has been done by reason of the drugs she took. Thank you. Is in there? Yes, Daddy. Where are you going? Daddy, I told you I have a bell on the way. So I have to go to the shop to wait for my suppliers so I can receive it. Is in there? Is in there? <gasps> ah, it is this your stubbornness that almost made you lose your golden opportunity with the prince. Eh? So you've not learned your lesson. Is that what you want to tell me? Daddy, so I should stop doing my business because I want to marry the prince. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is that he will go there now and start lifting heavy bags. Not remembering what you are carrying. Eh? Mm. That is ex what I'm saying. Okay, Daddy, it's okay. I won't lift heavy bag. Since your fear is that I may lose the pregnancy. Exactly. Remember that what you are carrying there is a prince. A royal blood is not to be toyed with. Huh. Eh? Okay, daddy. I've heard you. See, let me tell you. Remember that the prince will be coming back very soon. Okay. Don't stress yourself and even stress this baby. Eh? I don't want him to come here and see you stressed up. Because I know that once he comes back and hear your condition, definitely he will rush back down to this place to see you. So I don't want him to come here and we don't see you. Eh? Okay. Or see you stressed up. So take time and do what you're doing. Do you understand? Okay, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's good. But can I go now? Yes, but make sure you eat. I will. Thank you, Daddy. Don't be hungry. Okay. Don't keep this baby hungry. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Remember, he is a prince. Yes, Daddy. A royal blood. <laughs> Do you understand me? <laughs> I've said my own. Oh, Why is it taking you so long to attend this? Why is the project not being worked on? Oh, my queen, I tried. But... But what? I paid you. I paid you in full. Oh, yes, I know. I tried. He said he doesn't want to continue. Why? Um, I don't know, my queen. He said he's not mentally stable for music right now. And he rejected the sponsorship. Did you tell him what from me? No. Anyway, I have another assignment for you. At your service, my queen. I need you to try to convince him. Talk to him. Try him. 
convince him, go to his house, make him come back to me as a call. I don't care what it takes. That's not a problem, my queen. But I don't have his new address. So. I thought you were friends. Oh, yes, where? Well, we had a misunderstanding that made him lose confidence in me. Okay, I will give you his address. But I need you to convince him. Try to do whatever you can do. I need him back into music. Because if you fail me, trust me, you will pay me every cover that I give you. And with you trust. And I'm not playing. I will not fail. I do not want you to hear this from someone else. Uh, uh, Mackin, what is it? Emily, Onowu's daughter, is pregnant for my son, the prince. What? Yes. <laughs> she was here earlier with her father and she said the prince and herself have been having a secret affair. <laughs> hey, girls of these days, eh? Hey! As we speak right now, she's in the palace. Ah. Uh, how? What is she doing here, my king? She will stay here with us until she puts to bed. My king, I don't understand what you mean by that. She is carrying the prince's child. And my daughter is in there. She's also carrying the prince's child. Huh? She was the first to report to you about her pregnancy. And you didn't give her this kind of attention. Listen, Emily's case is different. She tried to harm herself and the baby. She was caught taking some abortion pills. So I requested that she should stay here in the palace so that she'll be under my watch. <laughs> uh, my king. Please don't make me believe that you are taking advantage of our friendship. Yes. How do you mean? If there is anybody that needs this royal attention, it should be asking my daughter. Because her own relationship with the prince was officially pronounced. Huh? But instead, you went and gave it to that good for nothing, a, a wayward girl, eh? that every man in Kaneku knows as. Donatus, a free giver. Eh? My, my king, check here. Or, or the man. Or, or the man. Listen, listen. Until the prince returns, I cannot say anything about that. Uh, okay, I, I, I see. Please don't be offended, my friend. Who am I to be offended by the king? Who am I? You have the final say. And you have said until your son returns. No problem, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. I'm going to check it. 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 So, how is our daughter doing? Oh, she's doing pretty good, I must confess. That's good to hear. So, the young man is not misbehaving. I don't want to talk about that. That reminds me, I was uh, supposed to have a meeting with him today. I guess you said so. Did you not come? I don't know. I was taking care of some issues. Uh, but I would have been told if he had, if he had come here. Well, maybe you should ask someone. Because I was over there earlier yeah, and I did see him. Um, wisdom. 
Your Majesty. Was Godwin here today? Not at all, my king. All right, thank you. You can go. Thank you, my king. Probably you go over there by the time. Anyway, my lord, I need to go back in the session. There's something I want to discuss with you. Okay. Ono was here with his daughter, and she claims to be pregnant for the prince. Preg what? I was marveled to hear that, but, but of course the young man in question was not around, so I couldn't immediately confirm. But her father brought her in a life-threatening condition, so I had to take her in. I don't understand you, please. What are you talking about? She was caught taking abortion pills, and you know that is dangerous. It can take her life. Who cares? She can die of all I care. But wait a minute. Why would you bring a girl that has done all that into her inside the palace? Do you want her to die here? She has been examined by the doctor, and as we speak right now, she's being treated. And she leaves after the treatment? She stays here to have the baby. And then what? Then the two people concerned will, will decide what they want to do. No way. But, by the way, what makes you think she's actually saying the truth? Well, I've heard her son brag about having good times with her. There's no guarantee that he's responsible for that pregnancy. Who you are? First of all, it was Ezine. Now, Amy, you seem to believe these wayward, foolish girls. And why do you want to bring them inside this palace anyway? Is your son any better than them? Why would he get involved with, with the so-called wayward girls knowing his status as the prince? I am sure it meant nothing to him. He was just having fun. Oh, I see. You're defending him as usual. But this time around, he will take responsibility for his actions. What are you going to do? You're going to make him marry the two girls? I have not decided on that yet. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint you. I will let you do that to my son. He's indeed your son. That's why he's behaving like this. Like mother, like son. If indeed it wasn't on his way back here, I would have asked him to stay back there. What's the point of coming here? Then he might as well kiss the throne goodbye. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Of what good is a throne that is embedded with shame? He could make a good life out of himself. Stop coming back to this shame. This shame you call a throne. Please, excuse me. Yes, I did. You did not tell me when you had a plan B, when you changed to the plan B. You did not tell me. What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about? Yes, of course. The pregnancy. Ah. ah. You didn't tell me about your daughter, Sida. My daughter's own was an ongoing plan. You would have told me when you decided to change to, to, to another plan. Would have told me. My daughter's pregnancy has nothing to do with our plans to take over the throne. You think you are smart? I beg your pardon. <laughs> My pardon refused to be begged. Look, let me tell you. Go and cut off that drama you deposited at the palace. Go and cut it off because I will not watch and allow it play for long. Do you hear me? I will not watch it play for long. Go and cut it off. Did you come out here to, to scold me like, like your child? Don't dare betray me. Don't dare betray me. Do you get me? Henceforth, I am no longer a party to your crimes. Hmm. Look at how stupid you are. I thought you are sensible enough. I thought you have wisdom. But I don't know that I overestimated you. Look, 
We are partners in crime. We started this thing together and we must finish it together. Do you hear me? We must finish it together. I'm not indebted to you in any way. And I will no longer be a party to whatever crime or whatever you are talking about. I'm no longer with you. Good day. <laughs> Look at you. Let me remind you that we are partners in crime. We started it together and we must end it together. I will call you whenever I need you. Yes. You think you are smart. Look at you. I thought you we are playing together. I didn't know you are you have something else in mind. Don't worry. I will show you that I am Obuefi. Obuefi. But Emily is not the only one who's pregnant for you. So why are you so excited about her presence here? Oh yeah. That, that's where my heart belongs. You lie. That's never gonna happen. If this is that is in there, I will understand it. But this wild dog called Emily. She's not coming to my house. Mom, you can say bad things about her, but it is not going to change my mind. She's the one I want. Dad, you need to talk to your wife. 
She's your mother. So why, why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? If you had told me, I wouldn't have been involved with Izini. And I wouldn't have been into this complication. I wasn't ready for marriage. That's why I didn't tell you. And besides, your first child's mother is your first wife. And now? Now what? Are you ready? To do what? To get married. Do I have a choice? Anyways, welcome back home. Jesus! What, my, my, my friend, wake up! Wake up! What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Come back. Sleep. Oh, good they kill you. You are not sleep. My friend, will you leave this place before I beat you like a little child? No. No? Mother, no. The door. I can't leave. Mother, the queen was here. Hello, Ne. Ne, please come and open this door. No, come and open this door. I'll kill this girl, yo. I'll kill her, yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, so bad, no, no problems. Now leave this room. Leave the. My, my friend. My friend. I'll kill you here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Sincerely, I won't tolerate this. I won't tolerate this. You're supposed to be on my side. Your son's side. Instead, you are with my enemies. I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. They forced me to marry her. Now you are forcing me to sleep with her. Who does that? Am I the only man in Kaneku? Eh, uh, Ozuna. It will happen again. Am I messy? It will repeat itself. No. For it not to repeat itself, you have to leave. What? Godwin, you're asking me to leave? Lee, your mother? Lee, you you're are, chasing me out of your You house. have no use here. Go back to the village. Or better still, go to the palace. The queen will be happy to have you back. You're stretching this whole matter. You're stretching it too far. <laughs> I said I, it would happen again. I'm sorry. It's okay. Eh? It's okay. Stop dwelling on it. I've read what he said. I won't try it again. Let's go. Please, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Please do not treat your mom like this. 
Are you shut that hole in your face? How dare you? Why am I even, even having this conversation? Hey! Look, Dwayne, stop all this now. Why am I having this conversation? Huh? It's okay now, calm down. What nonsense, calm down! Tell Wisdom to go and find out why Godwin refused to come and see me yesterday as I instructed. Good morning, Daddy. Morning, son. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Oh, yes, I did. And you, Dad? Good. Though I spent half of it thinking about the mess you left behind before you traveled. This is no mess, Dad. I mean, I'm an adult. And um, I had something special with this, with these young ladies. I mean, pregnancy is the end result of two opposite sex spending time together. So you're proud of what you did? It wasn't my making. If this happened, it has happened. And what do you intend to do about it? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You put two top citizens of this kingdom in the family way and you tell me you're doing nothing about it? Have you forgotten that their fathers are top lawmakers in my cabinet? But Dad, no one is going to victimize me for an offense I did not commit. I mean, I did not do anything for someone to victimize me. And these girls are adults. Right? Did any of them tell you that I raped them or I forced them? Did they say that? At least you should marry one of them. Yes. No. I will not marry any of them, Dad. And why, if I may ask? Because I remember you glowing over the news that Emily was here in the palace. Just drop this topic. I think it is too early for us to be discussing I mean, such distressing matters. You have two days to think about it and give me an answer. Two days. To help me. Don't worry, Sister Esther. Everything will be all right. God is able. I don't even know how to say it. I mean, ever since God and my son got married, he started to change completely. But I got me married, and nobody told me about it. Pastor, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything just happened like a dream. Oh my God, this is not right. And to think you've been coming to church all this while and you didn't bother to tell me. Pastor, it was the circumstance that surrounded the marriage. Like I said, it happened like a dream. Please forgive us. Anyway, it's all right, Sister Esther. There is nothing God cannot do. I will keep praying for you and your family. And I know in no distant time, everything will, be, uh, will just fade away. Let's just pray before you leave. Okay, Pastor Adam, we thank you for this family. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Everything they are going through, Lord, do it and let glory be given to your name. Make sure you come to church. Right?
Can you lock out your mother and come me? Open the door. I am here to see the princess husband. Yes, what is it? Young man, wisdom was here earlier to inform you that you are needed at the palace, but you did not show up. Why? Why? Because I don't go to places where evil is orchestrated. That's your response to the king's message. I owe the king nothing, absolutely nothing, and as such, I will not honor the king's invitation. So what are you people still doing here? I said, what are you still doing? What are what are you still doing here? Huh? Idiot. Bad dream. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm your mother. You spat on that entitlement when you decided to go against my will. I hope you know what you're doing. Young man. Mother, I'm going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that you and those royal demons stop invading my life. You call me a demon? Godwin, you call me a demon? Godwin! Stop this stuff! Stop this stuff! How dare you have this job back? How dare Godwin cloud my son? Go and bundle him here right now! Yes, my lord. His father in his lifetime would never flout my order. I think it's time for me to teach that boy a lesson. Go and bring him here right now. Yes, my lord. What nonsense. You have no fear, young man. You dare to disobey my summon. What insolence. I have the right to express myself when something is not pleasing to me, my king. Any more challenging words from you and I'll have your tongue cut off. I'm sorry, my king. Leave. Now. Yes, Your Majesty. It is my life. I decide how to live it. It is your life. And you decide how to live it. You decide how to live it. No, Your, your Majesty. This, this is unacceptable. Huh? He cannot use my daughter and dump, dump her like that. No. My king, <laughs> I will not accept this. So it is not possible. He will marry my daughter. Ha! Nobody can have a good well, we have a situation in our hands. That is why I called for a council meeting. Look at me. The plan we have been struggling to execute has finally fallen into our hands. Bam! Give me bam! On his own! On his own! The tussle for power, fortune, and fame. 
is bringing so much pain and shame. All, all for selfish gain. It's a shame, a big shame. The effort some people put into planning and plotting of this evil is so appalling. All for selfish needs, powered by greed. Whoa! In the process, the innocent suffers. These people, they don't really care. As long as they get what they are after, this is sad. Oh, this is so bad. Sometimes things are not always as they seem. There's always more than the eyes can see. But in time, all will be revealed. Be it good.